Hi, I'm Wendy from Shiny Happy World, and this cute bee is the new pattern in the Funny Faces Quilt Block of the Month Club. So when I say new pattern, it is July 1st, 2022, and this is the pattern that's exclusive to the club for the entire month of July. So if you join the Funny Faces Club anytime in July, this is the pattern that you'll get instant access to. If you're joining anytime after July 2022, this pattern will be in the shop sometime the end of August. So that'll be in the regular quilt pattern shop at shinyhappyworld.com. So I've got two videos showing you how to make her, one with a light box and one without using a light box. So make sure you're watching the one that you wanna be watching. And um, when I get to the end of the video, after I show you how to make her, I will come back and show you several different colors because bees actually come in lots of different colors. So here's how to make her. Okay, here's how we put this bee together. Just as a quick reminder, I'm using these same pieces in a separate video showing how to put them together with a light box. So um, for this, using putting them together without the light box, we are gonna be using these placement lines, but we are not going to be using the numbers that are on the back of the pieces. Um, you can use those as a key to let you know which one goes where, but we won't be using them for the order of placement, which is what we will be using those for in the light box. And we did, because we're not using the light box, we do need to transfer all of these dotted lines to the front of the pattern pieces. And I have a range of different colors here. So on the yellow, I used the, uh, the chalk marker because that just barely shows up. I also used the chalk on the black, but on the um, light, the white wings, I needed to use a pencil because the white chalk wasn't showing up. And on the face, the lines that are going to be completely covered with solid black or stitched over in black, I used a fine tip Sharpie, which is what I always use for those um, mouths and things that will get completely covered up. So the other thing is that I am not gonna be peeling the back off of these pieces um, because I'm gonna be reusing those for the light box. So they are gonna be a little bit warpy here because the paper makes them curve a little bit. But when you are doing this with yours, they will lay nice and flat once you take that paper off. So ignoring the numbers on the back, when you, we put this together without a light box, we are going to start with the body piece. And you want that to just kind of float in the middle-ish of the block. So next up, we can put the head on and the head needs to just cover this line. Once it's covered, we know that we've got enough overlap to get a clean finish. And once you get the head in place, you can shift this a little bit um, to get the whole thing centered in there. And I tipped her head a little bit. You can put it straight, but I think it's gonna be cuter if we tip that a little bit. So next up, we need to tuck the wings back behind here. So we've got this wing is gonna tuck behind the body. Oops, this one goes behind the body and the head. And then this wing is gonna overlap this line a little bit and tuck just behind the body there. So now we'll have those two wings in place. And then we've got some antenna that just need to come out from the top of the head. Very easy placement. If you want to add the crown, there's a line to place that. And then you may want to just tweak the antenna a little bit just to make these lines be a little more clear. You don't want to have the antenna, for example, lining up with the side of that crown. You wanna have a nice clear point there. We've got a couple of body pieces. This one is number nine, which you can tell is the frontmost stripe. If you are confused which stripe goes where, you can look at that pattern as a guide. And number 10, is the back. These are also, that's kind of the only place they'll fit, but if you don't want to spend any time rearranging, you can look at that pattern piece, that pattern guide. And then we just have a couple of eyes. So once I get that 
all fused down, I would actually peel the paper off and then fuse it in place, then take it over to my sewing machine and outline all of the pieces. And then I'll bring it back here and show you the finished block and also show you some other color options. All right, here she is, all finished. I've done all of the outline stitching. I did my usual three times around all the pieces, just simple straight stitch, black thread. I really like the kind of cartoony look that that gives everything. And as you can see, you can't see that line, um, that, that Sharpie line that I used for her mouth because I stitched right over it. So here's a couple of different color options because bees actually come in a lot of different colors. So I've been told that in Colorado, a lot of the bees are orange and yellow instead of black and yellow. So I made this version. Oh, I should talk about the fabrics. Uh, I always forget. If I forget to talk about the fabrics, then people ask in the comments. So this background fabric is from the Leafy Greens bundle. And the black and the white, the black for her body and the um, antenna and her white for her wings is from the salt and pepper fabric bundles. And this bright yellow and bright orange are both from the farmer's market bundle. All of these fabrics are available at shinyhappyworld.com and also in my Spoonflower shop. So this orange and yellow bee, the bee, all of the parts of the bee use the Animal Kingdom fabric bundle. And this uh, is from the, um, from the gemstones background quilt blocks. So these quilt lines are printed right on the block. So you just need to stitch right over the lines. So this is from the medium gemstones uh, color palette. And I've got more. One of my favorite bees that I found when I was researching bees, there are actually blue bees and they are gorgeous. So if you want to just see something really pretty, Google blue bees and you will find lots and lots of beautiful pictures of beautiful bees. Um, so this one, the background block is from the another set of the quilted, the pre-printed pre quilt background blocks. This is from the Animal Kingdom background. And then all of the blues for the bee and the orange also are from the farmer's market bundle and the white wings are from the salt and pepper bundle. Um, I really, really love that blue bee. And there are also green bees. So apparently orchard bees come in all kinds of different colors. They're blue, they're green, they're yellow, they're purple. I didn't find any pink bees, but you can totally make a pink bee quilt. I think it would actually be really fun to make a whole, um, a whole quilt just with rainbow colored bees on it with each block a different color bee. Of course, only one of them can be the queen. So you would have to decide which color in your big rainbow bee quilt, which one of them is the queen bee. But for the greens, so these are all from the um, gemstones bundle. So this is also from the medium gemstones palette for this is another one of those pre printed quilt blocks. And all of the greens are the emerald shades from the gemstones uh, blenders. And these whites are again from the salt and pepper bundle. So all of the whites and blacks that I did were from that salt and pepper bundle. So lots of different bee colors, uh, lots of bee fun. I hope you have a great time with this. I'm Wendy from Shiny Happy World and I will see you next month.